Most of you won't know this about Poppy Playtime, and it might surprise you. Hello everyone and welcome to another smallish Poppy Playtime theory video today on the channel. And hopefully, I'm going to give you a little bit more information regarding the world of Poppy Playtime and all its endeavours. But before we get into that... I want to let you know that this video is, of course, going to contain spoilers for Poppy Playtime Chapter 1 and 2. But with that being said, if you want to help me out and support the channel, make sure you hit subscribe for some more Poppy Playtime content. And if you want to help out that little bit more, if you head over to the Poppy Playtime merch store, make sure you use code It's Just Your for 10% off your whole order. Now, shameless plug out of the way, let's get into this video. So it's no secret that mob games have been updating various things within the world of Poppy Playtime. Changing, adding, and even more, expanding. We even have the beginning of the ARG for Chapter 3 now. But there was something that changed a long time ago. Something that went right past most of us. And I believe it was because it was in the very early days. But in fact, I think just a lot of us actually missed it the first time around. Now for me, I actually found this information on this piece of evidence from the merch store a long time ago. I think it was their very first or second version of the merch store. So it was all very basic still. But I did recently run a poll asking everyone a simple question. And we'll get a little bit onto that later. But it's entirely involving that bit of information. So let's continue with the video and we'll come back to this at the end because it all adds up there. So we are aware of Elliot Ludwig to some extent. But how much do we actually know about Mr. Ludwig? How much of him is really revealed to us? Because what you have to remember is everything that we're seeing is being very filtered by Playtime Co. He's often referred to as Elliot Ludwig, a family man at heart, but this is one of the actual first signs that's shared about him that could be wrong. And this all could be just because Playtime Co. or someone behind the scenes is trying to paint Elliot Ludwig in a better light or picture. And this is why I wonder if the more recent footage we do see of Elliot Ludwig within the factory is all hidden. Perhaps someone within Playtime Co, maybe a PR person, is purposely censoring his face away so no one recognises or notices who it is. But I wonder if he's actually hiding his own face for perhaps feeling of shame, embarrassment, perhaps the failing of Playtime Co, perhaps how they treated the children, the orphans in Playtime Co. It could be a number of things, but again, this doesn't paint him in a great light. But for a family man, well on paper, his actions spoke louder than words written about him. This is where we come to the information that not a lot of people know or it's brushed off is not important because you see while mr ludwig was busy creating playtime co and of course founding it in 1930s he also lost something as a result a trade of it if you will his wife molly we know very little about molly other than that we can actually see a photo of her and a small clipping of the news article that was shared on the site and of course in this image we do see molly and elliot sat next together or stood next together basically taking a photo together to celebrate the creation and the success of the factory so while elliot is a family man he let his work get in the way of becoming that a family I suppose now you can sort of see where all these statements aren't quite adding up. It's also not like he took his foot off the pedal either. It's said that he even doubled down, working overtime relentlessly. So I'm pretty sure what we're being told about Elliot Ludwig isn't actually 100% true. It's as if the real Elliot Ludwig was a cold and focused in creating the best products or perhaps the most profitable products. Any way that he could get himself rich by spending all of the time he could making and building the factory. He didn't care what it cost him or who it would cost him. But here is where we get deeper into the story and it's all slowly being unraveled but you have to really look in between the lines to find the answers. So... Elliot and Molly were divorced in the 1930s upon completion of the factory, or Playtime Co's creation. We are told that Elliot Ludwig had a family death in the 1960s. In the 1960s, an unfortunate family death had pushed Ludwig down to his lowest. 
but with so much ambition, he rose back up and continued to fulfill his vision for the Playtime Co. toy factory. But this brings us a few possibilities to who this could have been. We know that the one who died affected Elliot tremendously. As it was stated, it pushed him down to his lowest. So, as we know Elliot, so far he's very cold. He's very non-family man. So it needed to be someone very, very close to him. Could it be that Molly died? And I don't think so, but let me take you on one of my wildest theories on Poppy Playtime I have yet. Let me explain to you who died and how it happened. I theorize right towards the end of the 1930s, while Elliot and Molly were still together, pretending to be happy families, Molly fell pregnant. Realizing that Elliot wouldn't be able to change his ways in all the conversations that she spent many nights when he got back late from working at the factory, perhaps this is partly the reason why he spent more time at the factory, she could never get through to him. She could never find the time where he would actually sit and listen. So Molly decides to do what's best for her in that moment, and that's to leave. Leave Ludwig. Take her and the child and leave, because it would be much easier for Molly to raise the child not having a father than to have one that doesn't care. As time moves on, the child grows older. They begin to question, where is my dad if he's not dead? And of course, the child gets older, brings us to Molly. It's at this point Elliot is having some success with Playtime Co, or a lot of success, depending on where we are specifically. Molly doesn't want to lie to her child any longer. Perhaps even Molly is sick at this point. But either way, Molly chooses to move forward. Molly chooses to meet Elliot and asks him to promise to keep their child out of the limelight. She doesn't want her child to be associated with the doings of Playtime Co. Elliot and the child meet, and this is where we see the image of a young girl being introduced to a prototype toy called Poppy, the doll on the chair. Elliot was showing her what he makes in his factory, promising her all the love and the toys in the world, catching up for the time that they missed. It's worth mentioning here that this would add up because at the time of Poppy's prototype phase or beginning of being actually released to the public, she was made in the 1950s. And this would make Elliot Ludwig's daughter to be around 10 when she met the prototype Poppy. Of course, Elliot must have been working on Poppy for a long, long time to get to that 1950s release date. And perhaps Elliot and his daughter created Poppy together in the end. This is why when Poppy was fully released to the public, the daughter would have been about 20 years old, which brings us back up to the 1950s. So as of now, the timeline is adding up. But the unfortunate family death hasn't happened yet. So, who died and how? I theorize that from how it's presented to us in the video, it's more of a hint. An unfortunate family death. Claiming the death was unfortunate would imply that it was bad luck or just an accident of some sort. I suspect that who died was the daughter of Elliot Ludwig. And how she died was of course an accident or just a case of bad luck. More than likely, she died from an illness or a terminal illness that couldn't be helped. It's at this point as well, she would have been around 30 years old. So while her death affected Ludwig for a long time, he came back as soon as he could, determined that he would not lose his daughter. Feeling the guilt of all the time he never spent with her, he would fix it, no matter the cost, and he would never lose her again. And thus, he created the Poppy that we know today, and the one we know in-game. But hey, that's my theory. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below, and don't forget to share your theories too. I am hoping to build on this theory when the release of Chapter 3 comes out, because I think we're going to be seeing a lot more interesting stuff from the world of poppy playtime just because i think the the children of the orphanage is a really interesting subject to dive to and i think chapter three is going to be 
taking that head on. So I'm really excited for that. But who knows? It could be something completely different. But anyway, I will try build on this theory regardless. But with that being said, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any other theories of your own, that you who you think Poppy might be, or about Elliot and Molly, let me know what you think. And of course, make sure you hit like, comment, subscribe, do all the usual stuff uh, on YouTube, you know, to help the channel, help myself. But with that being said, have a lovely morning, day or night, wherever you are in the world. Stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next Poppy Playtime theory video.